and this geezer has just seen some Tasmanian tigers alive. So, uh, let's take a look at it. The Tasmanian tiger, an animal that is shaped like a dog, coloured like a tiger, and has a pouch like a kangaroo. A beautiful looking animal that unfortunately went extinct at the hand of humans back in the 1930s, mainly due to hunting. A little chap named Benjamin, the last of his kind, bid his and his species farewell at Hobart Zoo due to negligence after the zoo left him out in the cold. Since then, people have come forward with unofficial sightings of Tasmanian tigers, some photos and some videos to try and back up the claims that the tiger was in fact still alive. You can you can hear more about that in my previous Tasmanian Tiger video right here. Since then, I've been keeping a keen eye out for the thylacine. I've been taking in pictures, videos of what people would suggest are sightings, and I've been reading different news outlets as well. I've watched a few documentaries about the animal, and I am just convinced it still roams around on our planet today. And with what I'm bringing you in this video, it's going to add fuel to the fire. Now, officially, the Tasmanian Tiger went extinct in 1936, as that's when the last one was seen alive and confirmed to be around. Although with saying that there are these pictures from 1984 by an aboriginal tracker called kevin cameron and it appears to show a thylacine in these series of pictures here it appears to show the back end of a tasmanian tiger and it sort of looks like it's digging but without seeing the front end you can't really say for certain what it is in this picture specifically you can see that striped back end and you can see that stiff tail which is what is most commonly sighted with with the thylacine now these pictures were taken in western australia and the tasmanian tiger hasn't been seen there in about four thousand years could this be the Tasmanian tiger just knocking about in Western Australia. Now, with those pictures shown and potentially good evidence to back up that the Tasmanian tiger is still out there, it's 2020 and something weird has happened. Shock. Now, you may know this guy, Forrest Galante. He does the show Extinct or Alive, and he seems to have the habit of finding extinct animals alive and well. And now, I follow him on Instagram, and he posted something the other day that really piqued my interest. Take a look at this. Uh, hey, everybody. It's Forrest here um there's this kid on instagram who i believe is a social media influencer who's claiming that at an abandoned zoo in mexico he's found three tasmanian tigers and there's even a very cryptic very odd picture uh if anybody knows how to reach this guy i'm going to post his uh his social media channel or his instagram page uh in this next slide here uh very curious to get to the bottom of what this really is and why someone make this up so if you know how to reach out to him let me know thanks so there's this Mexican fella on Instagram who's claimed to have seen three Tasmanian tigers alive and has taken a picture of them. Forrest is obviously keen and I think for good reason. This is the most sought after dead animal on the planet and then all of a sudden, for some reason, a fella claims to have seen one in Mexico. So if you haven't already grasped, the Tasmanian tiger, as the name would suggest, is from Australia. The chances of you seeing one alive right now, well, are officially non-existent you can't do it you've got this guy though in mexico who's just got to see three apparently what is going on so this guy's name on instagram is carlos name and i decided to go and have a look at his story and see what all the fuss was about now he is mexican so everything you're going to read is in spanish so i'm going to have to get my old good friend google translate to come and help us with that now we start off this story with our good friend carlos here and carlos has brought another friend called oscar and they are set up ready to go and trap a thylacine. They've got a uh, big net there and a crate. Looks like they're fully equipped for this. Now, as you can see from up the top there, this story is quite long and a lot of it is nonsensical and it's just a it's just a bit weird. Now, as you go through a story, it talks about Freemasons, God, uh, pastors, and just all this weird stuff. It goes to abandoned houses, but you can't really see a lot. But that's until we get to this part of the story right here. And this is apparently the 9th of October, 2020. And this geezer has just seen some Tasmanian tigers alive. So obviously, uh... That's really quite interesting. Is there a picture to back that up? Yes, there is. Yes, there bloody is. So, uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, so what we're looking at here is apparently the back end of the thylacine, or as we know it, a Tasmanian tiger. And you can see there, it's got some stripes and it's got that similar dog-shaped body that we're familiar with. But as I'm sure you are aware, this isn't a great photo. Yes, it's exciting because we can see stripes. We can't see a head. It would have been better if it was a video. 
photo will do though, I suppose. It's enough to get excited about, because I'm I'm looking at this with like real enthusiasm. But I also dabble in Photoshop a little bit, and something like this could quite easily be fake. I say easy, I couldn't do this. Someone with talent could do this. Could quite easily just be fictional, made up nonsense so with my little bit of dabbling in photoshop i'm usually quite good at telling when a picture is fake or real and with this one i really can't see anywhere where it would be fake and i'm really struggling to pick it apart and say that's not real for that reason or that's not real for that reason so I'm a bit lost for words on that. Like if we take a closer look, you can see there are multiple fences that have to go through to get this picture of the thylacine. That is a very hard thing to do on Photoshop. Uh, again, for people like me who haven't got a vast majority of skills, they've got base skills of Photoshop. Also with the Tasmanian Tiger, they've got very low ankle joints, which is usually a giveaway if you're comparing it to a dog or a fox or something like that. You can usually tell if it's gonna be a thylacine by their ankle joint being so low down on the body. And with this, we can't see it due to some text placement. So is this just a simple error on this guy's behalf? Like, does he not know? Does he just put the writing on it, think, yeah, look, I've, there he is, stripes and that. Or is it convenient? And has he done this on purpose so we can't properly identify it? Now, this isn't where the story comes to a climax. Oh, no, there's more to be added here. And in the next picture, apparently, we have some thylacine sleeping. I genuinely... For the life of me, we can't see anything. Now, what I will say is it's consistent. The fencing we saw in the previous picture is now at the forefront of this picture. So it looks like it's in the same spot. Although with this one, I can't see anything. Even if I turn the exposure up, I can't see anything. Is there anything there or is he waffling? I don't know if you can claim that bit to be a thylacine because let's be honest now, what are we looking at? But that's sort of all the proof we get, really. Those two pictures. Now, the first one is obviously exciting. I've never seen that picture ever before. And if it's fake, it's a bloody good one. But if it's not, is that proof? The second one, though, is just, it doesn't mean anything. But after these pictures, his story goes a little bit south. It doesn't, it doesn't go well. He starts claiming that this is a laboratory for animals and he shows loads of pictures of big cats and stuff going on. He even at one point has a video where you can hear like a lion trying to roar. And then it gets even weirder when his mate, Oscar, has found himself in a hole and he's acting all hurt and that. Ah, uh, yeah, and then he just chucks out a flare for some reason. It was all a bit weird to watch, really. I mean, I only came for the Tasmanian tiger, but if you put everything together, I'm a bit like... <sighs> This guy's a bit, do you know what I mean? He's a bit. But it got the interest of Forrest Galante enough to ask some questions. And I'm extremely intrigued by it as well. Now, is this a real thylacine in this picture or is it a fake? What do you guys think in the comment section down below? Make sure to get your opinions in there. Now, more than anything, I would love it to be a thylacine. I would love to know that they're still alive and kicking on this planet. And one day we'll just love to see one. I think it'd be amazing. But it would seem Forrest Galante has updated us on this story and said this. Hey guys, so after putting up uh, my post yesterday about this Mexican social media influencer kid who supposedly found this thylacine at, or three thylacine at this abandoned zoo in Mexico, um, I got like 2,500 messages from you guys. So thank you all of you that reached out to me. And uh, turns out this kid is like notorious for being like, over the top, full of shit, like conspiracy theorists, making up all kinds of lies, uh, clickbait, social media stuff. So nothing against him, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry for everybody that got excited. I got excited too. I mean, I had my hopes up that maybe there was some bit of truth, but the reality is even if there had been thylacine in a zoo in Mexico for the last 60, 70 years, that amount of genetic pool, they'd be so weak. There's no way they could survive. Um, you know, I, I think fantasy got the best of me, got the best of all of us. But yeah, no luck, no thylacine in Mexico. Just a uh, just a kid doing some clickbait for some attention. So that's the end of it. Keep looking for him. Let me know when somebody finds one. So it would seem he's basically dismissed it now and said it's fake. It doesn't sound like he's spoken to the guy himself. It just seems like he's had a few people comment saying, don't trust this guy. And he's gone like, okay then. And then that seems to be it. It just seems a bit weird. It doesn't go any way to explain why this photo is a thing. Like, he doesn't explain if it's fake or not. Now, for me, I have never seen this photo circulated when talking about the Tasmania tiger or the thylacine or anything like that. I've never seen it. That is why I'm interested. And yes, I'm aware it could be fake, but I would love to know if it is, 
how and why. And I think for me, I'm not just going to listen to someone saying, yes, this guy is a bit untrustworthy and be like, all right then, yeah, done, see you later. Like, could this actually be a Tasmanian tiger? Or are we just being lied and conned to by some Mexican fella for a few likes on his Instagram story or something? Who knows anyway? I, for one, am certainly interested by this topic and I hope something more comes out about it. I hope something is done about it. I hope Forrest has just put up that video as being like, oh, don't worry about it, but secret he's going out to Mexico to film one who knows I would love to see what happens in the future is it the real thing I don't know, but it's it's just mad to think about it might be. But I suppose for now though, the search for the Tasmanian Tiger goes on. And I think that is where I'm going to leave this video for today. If you have enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new, and get your comments in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you think about the Tasmanian Tiger. I've been Cookie, I will see you in the next one. Take care. <laughs>